Are you ready? I just. No, okay. All right. So let's start over since we have video issues. So this is, for this example, we're going to be looking at how the Forda Manager interacts with address objects. So for this purpose, we're going to use the uh, Forda Manager's address object that gets created mm -hmm. on each firewall because each of these firewalls allows the Forda Manager to reach out to it, right? So there's a policy that lets that happen. Um, so root is going to be our primary authoritative source for information, right? All of the branch firewalls have been added secondary. So when you go into um, the firewall and you create an address object, there is a data field on that address object called a unique identifier. Mm -hmm. This applies for all objects in the firewall. Um, but for, for this particular example, we're going to go off address objects. But the same thing is going to apply to certificates, it's going to apply to services, it's whatever else you create. There's a unique identifier, right? Mm -hmm. So we just created an ADOM that is completely blank, right? So there's no address object in this database with a UID, right? Right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to import import our primary because this has like 90% of the address objects that we want to use, right? Right. So we're going to say this is authoritative and we're going to copy this entire database over here. So then for this particular example, the address object for FMG is then going to be X, right? So the authoritative value for the FMG is now X, right? Right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, and we're going to import it, right? Right. But we're going to have a big bunch of prompts, and it's going to say, hey, there's issues. Because this address object already exists, and it has a different unique identifier value. Then this one is going to say, how do I solve this? Right. And you're going to get a little conflict screen that says, for to gate or for to manager. And you're going to get little dots for every single conflict and you're going to have to pick one. So that's why we uploaded this first, right? So when you get this prompt window, the FMG value is this database. It's what you have set as authoritative. Okay, so technically when it's saying the FortiGate or the Forta Manager, in reality, is saying which one are you picking out of the unique identifiers? Is it going to be root or Tallahassee? But we're yeah. choosing root because that's our default database for the Forta Manager. So you, so there's a concept called authoritative, right? Yeah. Something has to be the master copy. Right, and that's so going to be when root. when you import this one, you are then saying that the Forta Manager is the master copy. Right. So even if it changes here this is the master copy. Right. And this is going to give you the majority of it, right? So you're going to deal with less conflicts by importing this first uh -huh. and then importing these because then you're just going to have to deal with that like 20% that's an outlier, if that makes sense. But yeah, so once you upload it into this database, it will then become the authoritative object. So when you upload these, it's going to say, hey, there's, it's Y, right? Uh -huh. So what you're going to say is the Forda Manager is the authoritative version. Yes. So then it's going to create... What it does is it creates a little, uh, inside of the ADOM database, it creates a little package for each of these firewalls. So then it's going to check and it's going to say, hey, you know, for this package, the UID value should be X. But when I check this, it's actually Y. So this is out of sync. I need you to synchronize, right? Right. So then you're going to go through and you're going to synchronize. You're going to do a policy diff and you're going to say, hey, what is the difference between these two packages? What all am I changing on this firewall? And it's going to say, hey, I'm updating this UID value from Y to X. And then you're going to say yes, and you're going to push that package. And then this firewall will have the same authoritative unique identifier for that address object. Okay. So then you're not going to have any conflicts when it goes to do its sync. It's going to say, hey, both of those address objects match the authoritative value in the Ford Manager. Okay. And then periodically it's going to keep going back out and it's going to check because this is the authoritative master. 
Okay. And it's going to say, are these in line with authoritative master, with the authoritative master? And if somebody's going onto the firewall and changing things, you're going to get some a little icon in here. This says it's out of sync. It says it's out of sync. And then you're going to have to go through and figure out, should it be out of sync? Did somebody make a change that should have happened? And... I didn't do it from the Ford Manager. I didn't initiate it from the Ford Manager. So then I need to synchronize that change here so that it's in the authoritative database. Okay. If it's something that they shouldn't have done, what I need to do is push the authoritative copy to it and overwrite it. Okay. Does all that make sense? Yes. Okay. This is going to have to happen to thousands and thousands and thousands of objects that are in that firewall. So we are going to have a at field least... Day. I'm going to guess at least 100 conflicts that we're going to have to resolve. Probably closer to like 250. Well, that sounds like loads of fun. Well, yeah, because this goes for SSL portals. This goes for like literally everything that's defined in there. If it's the same name and it's got different unique identifiers, we're going to have to synchronize everything up. And that's the basic explanation of how the Ford Manager being in config mode works. Boom. Nice.